May the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon your life and upon your family. Today, I want to offer a strong prayer to attract prosperity into your life, into your home. Today, I felt very strongly in my heart to talk about prosperity. People have a notion about prosperity different from what is written in the Word of God. People have limited the word prosperity to material wealth, as if money and the things it could buy were a priority in a person's life. But they forget what Jesus said. Then he said to them, Watch out. Be on your guard against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist in an abundance of possessions. Luke 12, 15. This message is very important because today we live in a world where we are valued for what we have. But God values you for who you are. God wants to make us prosperous people. When you read the Old or New Testament, the Bible shows that these men and women were prosperous people, meaning they were rich in God's grace, rich in forgiveness, love, and faith. Many of them did not have much money. It's not wrong to have a lot of money, to be rich, but I'm here telling you that you can be prosperous even if you don't have good financial conditions. Also, I cannot fail to mention that biblical prosperity is also related to money. It's also important that we know how to deal with this issue because many people have many debts, suffering from bad choices, misusing their money, and coveting things they couldn't afford. I don't know if you know, but almost half of Jesus' parables talk about financial matters. That's because money can be a blessing when used wisely, but it can also completely separate us from God if we put it above everything else. There's a verse that I really like that says, a generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. Proverbs 11 verse 25. This verse reveals something very profound and at the same time very revealing because when we think of prosperity, gaining, receiving, immediately come to our minds. But the true meaning of this word is in giving. That's why many people can't prosper in life because they are selfish. They only think about themselves. But this verse shows that the generous always prosper because they see the need of others and do something about it. Maybe these people don't have any money to offer or help, but they still have a generous soul. They give love, give good advice, cry together, pray with someone who is desperate, hug. And that's being generous. It's having more so you can give to others. The greatest example of generosity in the Bible is Jesus Christ. He practiced love all the time. He was so generous that he gave his own life for people who didn't deserve it. Jesus wasn't rich, but God supplied all his needs. And who wouldn't want to be prosperous like Jesus? That's why we must deny ourselves and fulfill the call God has for us. And we will be rich in the grace and love of the Father. I wanted to bring this message to you because often we feel pressured. People around us pressure us to grow in life, to earn more money. And often we must reflect is this really what God has for me? Will it be worth it for me to have two or three jobs? God wants you to resolve your situation. He wants you to pay your debts, have a stable financial life, and be happy. If you're in a situation of debt because you didn't know how to deal with money, ask God for forgiveness and ask Him to help you get out of the situation. I'm saying this because I went through this and had to learn through the hardest side. I suffered many bad consequences for not knowing how to deal with money. I thought God didn't get involved in these matters because God only deals with spiritual things. But I was very wrong because if something affects us, if something saddens us, everything belongs to the Lord, everything interests our God. So ask for wisdom. And I sincerely wish from the bottom of my heart that you may be financially prosperous. And more than that, that you may be prosperous in soul. Amen? Let's pray. Close your eyes and let's ask the Lord with all our faith. Lord, may your infinite fountain of abundance and prosperity pour upon us your generous blessings. 
We acknowledge that you are the source of all prosperity and wealth, and humbly ask you to grant us the grace to attract into our lives all the abundance we deserve. May your divine light illuminate our paths, guiding us to the opportunities that will lead us to prosperity. May your wisdom guide us in decision-making, empowering us to make wise and prosperous choices in all areas of our lives. We ask, Father, that you remove any obstacles that may be blocking our path to prosperity. Break the chains of scarcity and lack that may be imprisoning our dreams and aspirations. Free us from fear and doubt so that we may move forward with confidence and determination towards our goals. May your grace accompany us every step of the way, opening doors that were once closed and creating opportunities where there were only challenges before. May we be blessed with an open and receptive mind, capable of recognizing and seizing the opportunities that come our way. Grant us, Lord, the ability to prosper not only for our own benefit, but also for the good of those around us. May we be instruments of your will, generously sharing your blessings with the needy and contributing to the building of a fairer and more compassionate world. May your peace and prosperity flow freely through us, radiating out into the world around us and creating a continuous cycle of abundance and well-being for all living beings. For all this, we thank you, O gracious God, for we know that your blessings are infinite and that you will always be by our side, guiding and sustaining us in every moment. Lord, at this moment, in your presence, I also want to thank you for everything, for all your grace in my life up to this day, for your care. I also ask that the Lord bless us, comfort us, and especially teach us to deal with the things of this earth. Give us wisdom, Lord. Make your children blessed, prosperous, that they may have to give, because the Lord has supplied their needs. May we prosper even in the valley, even in the desert, in the face of trials. And may all around us see that we are truly prosperous because we have peace, the joy of the Holy Spirit within us. Many times the enemy has tried against our lives, causing us to face financial difficulties, debts. May we be grateful for all that we have. Therefore, I thank you for the lives of all who pray with me at this moment. May we praise you and thank you every day because we have people around us who love us. May your blessings come upon our lives and may we have the wisdom to reverse any situation of difficulty we may be facing. Pray with me. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the honor, and the glory, today, tomorrow, and forever. Amen. Glory to God.